Hello and welcome again to another tutorial video from Basic Fishing. In my channel, I do some of my fishing off the wolf, and today I thought of making a tutorial video on how to get started with fishing off the wolf, and hopefully guide some people into the right direction with wolf fishing. Hope you enjoy watching this video, and I hope you learn a thing or two on the way. To start things off, I'll talk about why I am recommending for many beginners to start fishing off the wolf. One, it gives you a better access to deeper water, meaning that it's easier for you to find the fish. Two, unlike going fishing off the rocks or the beach, fishing off the wolf is relatively safe compared to the two. Three, is that depending on the location of the wolf or the size of it, it's pretty spacious, meaning that a lot of people can come around to fish or have some fun, or just to get some easy feed, and for sightseeing. It was also a great place to get children involved in the fishing as well. Usually, most wolves are located in harbors where it's relatively safe and sheltered. There are many wolves to pick from, but I would recommend first going local, and then see different places at some point. There are a lot of gears to pick from, and it can be tricky, but to give you an idea, here is my personal favorite gear that I usually use whenever I go fishing off the wolf. A 10 feet telescopic rod is ideal. The size isn't too big nor too small, making it very comfortable to use. For my secondary equipment, I like to take a 6 to 7 feet rod. For reels, I prefer using between the 4,000 to 6,000 range. And for the weight of the main line, I recommend 20 pounds. This will allow you to fight big fish with relative ease and also allow you to pull up a big fish like an average sized cowboy up on the wolf depending on how high the wolf is. For hook styles, I prefer to use recurve hooks over suicide hooks. Suicide hooks can easily snag on the bottom but depending on where you fish as well as the fish swallowing the hook hole. You also need to strike in order to set the hook as well and sometimes it can be a bit frustrating if the hook doesn't set properly. Recurve hooks are more ideal because with recurve hooks a strike is not required and usually the hook gets set at the corner of the mouth which is ideal especially when you hook into an undersized fish such as snapper for example. For hook size I like to use between 3 to 4 barrels because these sizes aren't too big nor too small. But if nothing is working out for you, remember to always switch up the size. For example, if I keep on getting hooked into small snappers, I will switch my hook size bigger to avoid hooking into the small fish. For rigs, I like to use the ledger rig, running rig, at some occasion, flasher rigs and sabiki rigs. All these three rigs are super easy to use, make, and it's easy to switch different rigs if one doesn't work out. There are a lot of baits to pick from, but the easy baits to use are a skipjack tuna, aka bonito, pilchard and squid. Mussels are a great bait to use as well. They are easily accessible, cheap, plus always comes fresh, which is ideal. Sometimes if I want to target a particular species, such as perori, I would use weed for example, instead of mussels or pippies because no other fish will even eat weed, and often fish bait and shellfish often attract the troublesome species instead. By having different baits with you, it will increase your chances to target the desired species that you want. Depending on where you go, you will catch a variety of species of fish, but always remember to check for rules and regulation, especially on the size of the fish before going out. The fish you will encounter are the yellow eye mullet, yellow tail, kawai, piper, snapper, gurnard, trevally, kingfish, and sometimes species of sharks on some days, and let's not forget the stingray. Every often in fishing, you will be hooked into many different species of fish depending on the day. Now that you have some ideas on how to get started on wolf fishing, 
I wish you the best and hope you guys will be able to catch your first fish, some decent fish, or be able to catch yourself some supper. But most importantly, always remember to be safe and have fun out there. Thank you for watching this tutorial video and if you're interested in seeing my other tutorial videos, please check them out. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.